All right, so welcome back to JPCE Spiritual Talk, Sherry Campbell. So I'm going to share news with a news article with all of you from War 24/7 News. All right, it's talking about the situation in Ukraine. All right, and so we're going to get into that in just a second. I also want to say that I also do Bible studies, right? Daily devotionals, things like that, even evening reflections evening reads in the evening, evening prayers. Right? So if anyone out there is interested in that, my channel also provides that as well. And this is We're going to start doing a little bit of news, a little bit on the situation in Ukraine. right? So some of you that d doesn't know what's going on. right? So like I said, it's my first time. And so I'm going to share with all of you this article. Like I said, it's from an international source. right? The link will be in the uh, description box. So please open up that link and follow along. Right. Um, in order to translate it from Greek to English, Google Chrome is the best way to help you translate it from Greek to English. Right. If you can't get it translated, I'm going to read the article anyway. There are some names I, I will not be able to pronounce, so I'm going to say that ahead of time. But I will do my best to share this news and share a little bit of what knowledge I have because I have been keeping up with the situation in Ukraine. So without further ado, let's get into this article, all right? Let's see how it goes for my first time. I hope you, I hope you all enjoy. Like I said, I love what I do. I also love teaching the Word of God as well. That is one of the greatest things I do on here, is teaching the Word of God, all right? So let's get into the news. So it says, in anticipation of a major escalation. So Zelensky's decree on permanent and irreversible evacuation of civilian, po civilian population due to, nu to nu nuclear catastrophe. So I do have trouble pronouncing some words. I, 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 I did suffer a, a head injury, right, when I served in Iraq. So I do just want to say that ahead of time. So like I said, I'll do my best, right? So if I do stumble over words, I do apologize. Like I said, it, I do have a medical condition. Condition. So sometimes I do stutter over words, as you can tell. I think I've already done it. All right, so let's get into this article. So it says, the plan has been waiting for a major escalation on the Ukrainian front for 24 hours. According to, according to Ukrainian sources, written material was urgently distributed to several towns, settlements, within a distance of approximately 16 kilometers from, I'm not going to pronounce that, I don't want to get the word wrong, the NPP ordering their permanent and irreversible evacuation. At the same time, the Ukrainian government is buying dozens of radioactivity measuring devices. Hmm. We remind you that Ukrainian authorities distributed potassium iodine to minor children in, re in regions of Western Ukraine. Potassium iodine is good to have on hand if there is nuclear fallout. I know Heather and I had bought some a few years ago, so we have some on hand, right? Because you never know, right? Situation in Ukraine is getting getting pretty bad. So earlier, there were public statements from both the Minister of Health and the Minister of Interior on the issue. It was only a matter of time before the radiation leak from the Z nuclear plant, just can call it Z, right, because I, I have a hard time pronouncing. A radiation leak will create a no man's land in Z region and cause a humanitarian disaster. This will also force NATO into Ukraine. Perhaps this is why Wagner forces were transferred to Belarus, according to the Ukrainians. If some of you don't know what happened with the Wagner forces, apparently they tried to stage a coup against Putin and his military. But it, the coup failed. Seems like a lot of deception because nobody really knows, right? Putin has arrested some of his generals, right, that were supposedly in, in collaboration for this subject, this supposed coup attempt that which ended up failing, right? So I don't know if some of you are aware of that, but there was a, a coup attempt, right? By Wagner forces, apparently, right? And so they said they had fled to what well, Belarus is where supposedly they, they, where they fled, right? So it says, by the order of the head of the RVA, I'm going to just say YY, because I don't know how to pronounce the name, in connection with the difficult and unfavorable at epidemiological situation in the region. From June 30th, 2023, the, ir the irreversible evacuation of the civilian population living in the following areas 
of Nicopol region is ordered dino dime per per rooks. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if I said that right. Why is Ukraine already ordering the irreversible evacuation of these areas when, for now, there is no threat of what? Radioactivity, right? The only logical answer is that Ukraine knows there is going to be a deadly radiation threat. And the only way they could know is that they are going to provoke it. Hmm. Recall that just last week, U.S. Senators Lindsey Graham and Richard Bethenthal introduced a very specific resolution in the U.S. Senate, which argues that a release of radioactivity from Ukraine from either a regular nuclear explosion or a nuclear power plant would be considered an attack on NATO, from which Article 5 of NATO treaty, which calls for collective self-defense, would be invoked. This simply means that if a nuclear plant inside Ukraine suddenly starts leaking, NATO will use that leak as an excuse to enter the Russian-Ukraine conflict on Ukraine's side. Given this reality, and the, Z, and the Z nuclear plant region is attacked and radiation, radiation begins to leak, who will suffer? Russia, however, they will blame the... Russia. So it says, who will suffer? Russia. However, they will blame the attack on Russia and use the blame to justify NATO entering the war. MZ... I don't know how to pronounce his name. Kiev is preparing a terrorist attack on the nuclear power plant. Ukraine agreed with European and American partners on the provocation that the Z nuclear power plant in order to accuse Russia of a terrorist attack on nuclear facility. Announced the official representative of the Russian Dipl diplomatic department, Maria Z, on, on her Telegram channel. Kiev authorities are preparing to commit another terrorist attack, Z commented, revealing the purchase from Kiev of a large number of devices for measuring radiation. Former U.S. intelligence officer Z Zelensky will cause a nuclear disaster. Z Zelensky will try to cause a nuclear disaster in the Z nuclear power plant. This can be done by the armed forces of Ukraine on his order. This opinion was expressed by the former Intelligence officer of the U.S. Marine Corps, Scott Ritter, is in an interview on the U.S. Tour of Duty YouTube channel. The, U the Ukrainians will try to attack the Z nuclear power plant and blame Russia for it. There is a threat as real as it can be, Ritter said. Ritter believes that for Ukraine authorities organizing a nuclear disaster at the Z NPP nuclear power plant, could be an acceptable option that could change the situation in the war zone in their favor. And that where is where the article ends. Right? So I just wanted to share that with you all. Like I said, I will share certain things about Ukraine right, as they come, as they seem fitting. This evening, I'm still going to do an evening read. Right? I may or may not, but I'm going to read from... I'm going to read from the Psalms, and I'm going to talk about some things in Ukraine. I'm going to talk about how there's priests being put on house arrest, and and giving and they're 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 being given ankle monitors, right? One priest was given that because he did defy the house arrest, but he's also a man of God. So I'm going to talk about that this evening, and I'm going to share another article this evening as well, also from War Twenty Four Seven News. Like I said, it's an international source. So we're going to close out now. All right? Thank you all again. I hope that you enjoyed this. All right? I'll get better as the time goes on. Like I said, hope you understood the article. I hope when you click on the link, you're able to translate it and kind of follow along. All right? If not, if 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 there's enough space, maybe I can translate it in English in the description box. But I don't know if there will be enough space or enough characters because I only get 5,000. All right? So, without further ado, I thank you all so much. I love you all. I'm going to close out just in a quick prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord God, you've spoken us your divine saving words. You illuminate the souls of sinners to comprehend what we just read. That we don't appear simply as hear spiritual words, but doers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith. Having to blame his life and conduct without reproaching Christ our Lord. 
and to you are light. We give glory, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, endless ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, of now and forever, the sages. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. We depart peace, name of the Lord, our brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all. Go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord... May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The sages. Amen. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those and those who hate us. Thank you all again. I love you all. I'm out. JPCE Spiritual Talk. Never hold back. No excuses. Create that relationship with your creator. Give him your heart. He does the rest. I love you all so much. Wow.